Hi all folks, this is Max from Nexus7Root.com um, So today I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus 7 um, So first, what you want to do is uh, before we begin, this is going to erase all your settings and apps and also the contents of your internal storage I think I'm not sure about the internal storage, I'm pretty sure it does so back up all, your, all of your stuff, uh, photos and personal media files back up to your computer first and also for settings and apps, you're gonna have to lose um, lose all of it. Uh, I'm working on a backup and restore. Um, maybe I'll have that later. But for now, when you get the tablet, make sure you unlock your tablet right away. You don't have to root it. Just unlock the bootloader because when you unlock the bootloader on any Nexus devices, it's gonna erase all your personal settings, apps, and the contents of your internal storage. So once you've done that, um, you're gonna go uh, hit the volume down and the power button together until it reboots into bootloader mode All right, and I keep holding it down there we go and you should get into um, the fast boot mode or the bootloader mode whatever you want to call it um, and it should say fast boot mode there and lock state locked um, Next, go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to your computer. There we go. And uh, let's go to your computer. Next, go ahead and download nexus7root.zip. If you unzip the nexus7root.zip, you'll get a bunch of files with a folder um, called nexus7root, probably under your username downloads folder, uh, most likely there. Um, next, you'll have to install the driver uh, drivers for your computer so go ahead and go to start um, control panel hardware and sound go to device manager and this will get you into device manager now if you don't know how to get into device manager I'm using Windows 7 64 bit um, go google it you'll find the uh, way to get into device manager and in there you should see something like Android with an exclamation mark um, I have actually drivers in the folder you download it under USB underscore driver. Um, these are the drivers I took off from the SDK, so you got it right there. Um, to update the drivers, simply double click on it, hit uh, update driver, and uh, browse my computer for driver software. And then let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer, and then choose show all devices and click next, and choose have disk and then hit browse and then go go to the folder where you unzip the files to which is uh, for me it's under max downloads um, under nexus 7 root folder and inside you'll find the USB underscore driver folder and inside that you'll find Android underscore win USB dot inf and hit OK and for Linux or Mac you don't need drivers installed um, and I'll show you which commands you have to change from the Windows and I've got all the uh, files you need also for Linux and Mac and also I have another video for Linux and Mac um, you guys can't figure it out next all you want to do is uh, hit OK and you'll find Android bootloader interface now hit next and you'll get this um, this thing here just say install and this will install the drivers for your Nexus 7 tablet. In uh, you might have to reinstall it later on, um, but uh, that's how you install it, and it should work. And just give it a second here, and it's going to install the drivers. Um, there you go. Android bootloader interface. Hit OK. Should have something like Android uh, bootloader interface. You're all good to go. Close up everything. And next we're going to go open up a command prompt um, or terminal for Linux or Mac. Go hit start and under search type CMD. And uh, if you don't know how to open a command prompt uh, for your Windows version, go Google it. Google has all the information you need. Um, once here, we're going to type, you can see that we're in the Max directory. Same as there. Um, that's, gonna where, that's where it's going to default to. So we're going to try to get into downloads and the Nexus 7 root folder. So type cd space downloads. And then now we're in the downloads directory. Now when you go another directory, so type cd space Nexus 7 root and hit enter. Now if you unzip the files to another folder that you named, then you have to enter that instead of the Nexus 7 root. 
Um, next, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna unlock the bootloader. Remember, this is gonna erase all your settings, apps, and everything from your internal storage. Um, just remember to back up everything. So type fastboot space OEM space unlock. This will unlock the bootloader. And for Mac uh, or Linux, you'll want to type um, before you do any of this. You'll want to type uh, chmod 755 star like that to change the permissions. You have to do it once for Linux or Mac. And uh, for Linux or Mac, it's going to be for Mac. It's going to be dot slash fastboot Mac uh, space. OEM space unlock like that and also for Linux it's gonna be like this but I'm gonna do it for Windows now so I'm just gonna put uh, without the dot slash and fastboot OEM unlock and this will bring up the uh, unlock screen so hit enter and uh, you'll see unlock bootloader there and hit uh, power button to say yes and in about in about uh, five seconds this red thing over here on the right right there should change to unlocked all right Let's see unlocked. all right now it says unlocked and also bootloader is unlocked now we're going to reboot all right um because we got to copy a file over so go ahead and hit uh, the power button to reboot all right, and let me switch the camera angle real quick. Now, once your tablet Nexus 7 reboots, um, you'll get a welcome sign again. Go ahead and sign in again um, because it's, uh, when you unlock your bootloader, it's gonna reset everything. So I'm gonna go sign in really quick. Next, once you've signed in, go ahead and connect it to your computer as a disk drive. It should say as a media device. If you're having trouble um, connecting as a disk, disk drive, um, you can try changing it to PTP. Also, if you're using a Mac, you can download um, f Android File Transfer at android.com slash file transfer and uh, make it work as a disk drive. And then let's go to our computer. Next, what you want to do is um, go back to the Nexus 7 root uh, folder and do a right click on CWM Super SU blah blah dot zip. Do a right click copy and, uh, and then go to your Nexus 7 and go to your internal storage and just do a right click paste and this is actually the rooting file that gives you su super su super user app and also root uh, once that's copied over let's go back to our tablet next you want to reboot into the bootloader so go ahead and hold down volume down and the power button until your phone goes back into bootloader fast boot mode um, there we go keep holding it down And uh, once you're here, um, what you can do is go down to, oh, sorry, not go down. Um, just leave it there and let's go back to our computer. And go back to the command prompt here and we're gonna type, um, we're gonna install the actual recovery now, custom uh, clockwork mod recovery. This is how you flash it. Um, so type fastboot space um, flash space recovery space um, the next part is you're gonna copy this. You're gonna you're gonna uh, type. You can either type the first one or the second one here. The first one is a regular Clockwork Modern Recovery. This is the official version, and also the second one is official, but this is uh, touch, so you can use the touch screen. I recommend the second one. Um, so what you can do is go back here and type type R E C O V R E recovery and hit the tab button, and it will fill it fill it in for you. Hit it again and it will actually switch to the touch. So you can go back and forth. Um, flash either one. I'm gonna actually flash the touch version. Let me there you go. And then I'm gonna hit enter and this will flash the uh, clockwork mod recovery so you can flash the root and super user files. So hit enter and uh, that should that's done. And next you're gonna type fast boot uh, space erase space cache um, you always to erase cache on the newer jelly bean stuff so hit that and we're almost done um, let's go back to our uh, Nexus 7 next go ahead and uh, use the volume down key to go down to recovery mode 
and hit the power button and this will you get you into clockwork mod recovery and uh, we're gonna go flash the super user files and we're almost done and uh, if you get the cache error don't worry about it um, you can do wipe cache partition say yes this will erase the temporary files cache is just temporary files so I'll fix the issue there and then go to install zip from SD card and then choose it from SD card and then choose the CWM super SU the, the the rooting files and then say yes and this will root your Nexus 7 alright next go ahead and hit go back and uh, reboot system now and um, Oh, also say yes, disable uh, recovery flash. Um, from my flash, start recovery on boot. Yes, this will actually fix so um, when you reboot, you'll have permanent recovery. Just say yes. All right. And uh, when, you're, when you're Nexus 7, now it says uh, unlock there. It should be fully rooted uh, with, uh, with uh, clockwork mod recovery touch working and uh, that's how you root your Nexus 7 tablet um, I'll have also ins written instructions for Mac and Linux just in case you guys got confused in the video um, but it should work just fine on Mac or Linux and if you guys need it I'll make another video maybe next week um, but for now this should actually suffice and uh, you should have Super S SU yippee you got Super SU run it um, you can hit continue there we go and then um, go ahead and download uh, go to Play Store go ahead and download titanium backup to actually um, there you go titanium backup root um, go ahead and install this and you can test out if you have root or not and also this is a great app I have the pro version I bought it I'm not an affiliate I'm not affiliated with this titanium backup developer at all but it's a great app. Um, get the pro version if you're high on Android. Um, definitely a great app to get uh, get the pro version because it makes restoring apps just one click, very easy. There you go. You got Super User. Make sure you hit Grant quickly. Um, otherwise, sometimes you might have to reset it in Super SU. Anyway, th <coughs> thanks you guys for <laughs> watching my video. That was how to root um, your Nexus 7 tablet for Windows, uh, Linux, and Mac. And again, I'll have the written instructions over at my site, um, nexus7root.com. And uh, um, if you like my videos, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus7root.com. We will update you once the custom ROM start rolling out. We'll update you once a week with ROM of the week. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email if you have trouble with your Nexus 7 tablet while rooting, installing ROMs, and whatnot. Um, and uh, don't forget to check out my my videos at androidroot.org. That's my new site for all my Android rooting videos, ROMs, and stuff. Um, you can see it there first before I post it on my sites. Um, and I think that's it. And stay high on Android and have fun with your Nexus uh, 7 root it. Um, and uh, don't forget to tell your friends about um, rooting your Nexus 7 tablet. Anyway, see y'all later and uh, have a great weekend. And uh, see y'all later. Yeah.